Also breaking right now, this disturbing video shows a woman being carjacked in Seminole County. Just minutes ago, we received the 911 call from the person who initially called for help. Take a listen. No, the guy had a machine gun and got the guy to open the door and was pointing the gun at him. And then he got in the back seat of the car and then the car that was chasing them did a U-turn and they went back towards 1792. Deputies now believe that victim was killed after they found a body inside of a burned out SUV. Fox 35's Matt Treza is live in Sanford where the sheriff just spoke about this case. Matt, what is the latest? Yeah, well, in this case, Seminole County deputies are praising the Good Samaritans who shot that video, the people who saw something and said something and captured on video the moment that deputies say the bad guy got into the victim's car. The video is dramatic. Deputies say a man with a weapon gets out of the green car and walks to the white SUV in front of it. He aims what appears to be a gun at Catherine Aguas Viva's window, then reaches inside and gets into the back seat. The light turns green and both vehicles make a U-turn. Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima says it was the start of a nearly two-hour journey that ended with deputies finding the smoldering remains of an SUV and a body inside. There was so much damage to the vehicle, you could not positively identify the vehicle, uh, but they also discovered that one person was deceased and found in that vehicle. Lima says they believe the body is that of Aguas Vivas, but they're waiting for DNA and dental evidence to confirm it. He says her odyssey started in South Florida and she drove north to Seminole County. The video was shot at the intersection of East Lake Drive and Tuscawilla Road. About a half a mile or so prior to that intersection, she started to notice that the green uh, Acura was behind her and the Acura was actually ramming into her back bumper at that time. Lima says after the mass man got into Aguas Viva's SUV, they drove south on 417 to Boggy Creek Road in Osceola County, not far from a construction site. Not so far away that eyewitnesses could not report hearing gunshots. After that, deputies found the burned out SUV with 10 millimeter shell casings inside. We talked with former Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone about this case. He says investigators are putting the pieces together. Hopefully by now, cell phone data, vehicle data. Yeah, because again, everything is connected these days, especially if the cars are newer. Hopefully it has led them to something that will allow and will shed some light as to what exactly happened in this case. Seminole County deputies are at this point still searching for the suspects and that green Acura and they're asking for your help. Anybody who has any information about its whereabouts or the suspect are urged to give the Seminole County Sheriff's Office or Crime Line a call. We're live in Sanford, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.